The movie business got knocked out over the weekend as revenue fell to its lowest level in three years. A lack of movies is the main culprit, with none of the new offerings earning more than $5 million. Hurricane Harvey also prompted theater closures in numerous Texas markets, including Houston. Also, the Floyd Mayweather Conor McGregor fight kept many glued to their TVs instead of enjoying a night at the movies on Saturday, but the theatrical screening of the super fight scored some impressive numbers. Along with being offered on pay per view, the fight between the world boxing champ and the Irish MMA star was beamed into select theaters via Fathom Events and Mayweather Productions. The distribution strategy proved to be a one two punch, with the live broadcast of the fight grossing $2.6 million from 532 locations in North America to come in at number eight. It scored the third best showing of the day in theaters. The Hitman's bodyguard held on to the number one spot. It won the weekend with $10 million in its second outing for a domestic total of $39.6 million. The action comedy starring Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson joins a short list of titles that have won the box office crown with $10 million or less, at least in modern times. Among the weekend's new releases, the Weinstein Company's animated family pick Leap performed best, grossing an estimated $5 million for a third place finish behind Hitman and Annabelle Creation. The horror flick grossed $7.4 million in its third outing for a domestic total of $77.9 million. On Sunday, weekend revenue was estimated at $65 million, the worst showing since the September 21st to 23rd weekend in 2001, which saw a total of $59.4 million almost 16 years ago. That's down 43% from the same frame last year. However, Sunday's numbers were stronger than expected, raising the estimate to $67 million, which is still a three-year low. Back in 2015, the September 5th to 7th weekend came in at $66.1 million. For the latest box office news, check out teacher.com. And be sure to let me know what you watched over the weekend in the comments. I'm Tiffany Taylor for The Hollywood Reporter News.